just got home from work and I feel like a zombie. I, I don't know. I'm so tired and I feel like crap. I didn't end up eating lunch because um, I didn't notice when everyone left for lunch and then I was like, oh, they left without me. And then I was busy working on my animation anyways. I was like, well, I just won't have lunch today because <laughs> I didn't pack anything. And so I'm like very, very, very hungry and very, very, very sleepy. And I want to just face plant on my bed, but I'm like, no, I need to edit the vlog and I probably should eat something right away. Especially because we're going to be going out tonight. At least the plans haven't changed. Christian's team night with his coworkers was moved from yesterday to today. And they're going to do like a barbecue on the beach kind of thing. And I was invited, so we're going to that. But I feel like I just want to sleep. So, so I was like, maybe I should nap before that, but... I mailed the packages from last night and while I was at Shoppers I got some more contact solution because I'm almost out of the stuff I currently have and then I just got a little thing of contact solution just for rinsing like if I wanted to take a nap right now I need to put my contacts into normal solution because you have to let it sit in hydrogen peroxide solution for six hours I don't have six hours so just for like rinsing lenses and stuff I got that just a small one because Christian's still using the bio true but I think that uh, once we're through all the BioTrue, we'll just switch him over to this brand. If this works for me, like I haven't, we'll see if it works okay. And uh, then we'll just have like the one kind and I can borrow his solution whenever I need to rinse or something. So yes, and I also got some gum because I had like nasty coffee breath. So I got a couple packs of spearmint gum. Yeah, that's about it. That's all the excitement. Oh wait, wait, wait customs forms she hands me kind of like about half this amount she's like oh is this enough or is like too many and i was like actually can i get more <laughs> just because like i don't know sometimes they i go through them really fast so yay more customs forms that's good because i got another order today so i decided to not take a nap because christian said i have to meet him at his office at 6 p.m which gives me an hour well now it's like 45 minutes but add an hour to get my vlog up and everything so I'm editing it right now and it drives me insane when something like this happens in the vlog where my hair is like sticking out the side what is that that is really stupid looking so last night I crawled into bed around 11 30 but then I just could not sleep at all it was so bad and I was on my phone for a bit just checking emails real quick before I went to sleep and there was one from this studio. They're like, hey, Bailey, blah, blah, blah. Can you come in for an interview tomorrow? And I'm just like, how did you find me? <laughs> like, I don't think I'm that hard to find, but it was just weird. I've never applied to this studio. I don't know, it was weird. So they wanted me to come in for an interview. And I was just like, no, I have a job. But uh, I just thought that was funny and it's weird because I thought it would be harder to get interviews and job offers and stuff because I mean I went to school for animation make sure my boobies aren't hanging out I went to school for animation and I thought it'd be a lot harder to get a job but I mean everyone I graduated with got a job right away not right away sorry within like four months a couple people might have taken longer I got my job after three months but we all got it like we're all working right now kind of thing so that's pretty good and I've had two job offers, one of which I accepted obviously because I'm working and then I have two interview offers that I declined so it's just kind of like when I think about it I'm like oh maybe it's not that hard. Plus lately a lot of studios have been hiring, they're like posting everywhere like on LinkedIn, on their Facebook pages and stuff, they're like we're hiring, apply, apply and like yeah, it's just crazy. There seems like there's a lot of work right now here in Vancouver. So that's really good. I mean, I'm not looking to get a different job right now. Like, I'm fine staying where I'm at, at least for now, because I get to work on feature film animation. And that's kind of the dream for a lot of people. It's not like it's a big, famous studio, but still, like, feature film animation. And we get a lot of creative freedom there. And I'm actually listed as being the, the senior animator, like the one and only senior animator. I saw the credits and I'm like, oh, I'm senior animator. I mean, I, 
that's how my boss has always introduced me, but I, I'm not really worthy of the title. <laughs> but it's just kind of cool. I don't know. I like where I'm at. And yeah. So that's my little talk about jobs and stuff. I need to get up and get ready now, but I just want to flop on the floor. <laughs> I have to, no, I have to be, dang it, he said to be at the office at 6. I was thinking leaving at 6. It's 5.32. <laughs> My YouTube video is not going to be ready to upload for like another 15 minutes, so I'm at least staying until that's done. <sighs> My God. Da, da, da. I just want to sleep, but I also want to go to the beach. Okay, so I'm heading out now, wearing my Pikachu hat. <laughs> my hair's just kind of oily, so I wanted to cover it up. And, uh, what was I gonna say? <laughs> oh yeah, it's like 6.02, I was supposed to be there at 6, but Christian hasn't even texted me, so he's they're probably not actually ready to leave. And it's gonna take me like 10 minutes to get there, so it'll be a bit late, but uh, I should stop talking and get going. I don't know what to bring, so I'm just bringing like a water bottle. <laughs> That's all I have. My hat and my water bottle. And I changed into flip-flops because I was wearing my kitty, my green kitty shoes that I got at the Richmond Night Market, but I don't want them to get full of sand. So I'm just going like this. And I'm bringing my sweater even though it's hot out because it's probably going to get cold. I always feel like such a hobo when I go out with Christian's co-workers because they have to dress formally. So like the guys are all in suits, girls are dressed all nice. And then I come in the crappy clothes I wear to work every day. <laughs> So, I always feel like kind of slobby compared to everyone else, but I don't care. I'd rather just be comfy. Right as I was walking up, Christian phoned me. He's like, where are you? And I was like, oh, I'm just at the dolphin fountain. He's like, okay, perfect. We're just about to come down. So, even though I'm 15 minutes late, I'm right on time. Just like I suspected. <laughs> and I'm filming in front of a lot of people. It smells like weed. Yeah. Oh. Oh, no. <laughs> Okay, being a good puppy now. <laughs> she just sits there. <laughs> good girl. Oh, I'm on this. So cute. So nice here. This is like the one reason why I would want a car is to just easily get to places like this. Well, and it'd be convenient for like getting groceries and large items, but it's just like, I don't think this place is that easy to get to by transit. I'm not sure. But it's so nice. I'm like, oh man, I don't want to come to beaches more often. Just like hang out. We live pretty far from the beach, so it's not the easiest thing to do, but it's still not that bad to get to some of the beaches. I think this one would be a little harder for us to get to, but like Stanley Park's not that hard to get to. But yeah. Really nice here. I'm just trying to find a bathroom. I'm assuming this building here is a bathroom. I don't know if you can even see it. Oh, in there. Behind the tree. Behind the trees, please be a potty, or I'm gonna pop a squat behind these trees. Women, excellent. I think I'm gonna go back this way and walk along the beach. What I like about this place is it is not busy, it's like dead. Because probably all the more popular places are so full. This place is 
nice and relaxing. Oh, so nice. The sign's like barbecue ashes only. And the first thing I think of is like cremated people, like sprinkling ashes. I think they just mean like no cigarette butts or I don't know. Barbecue ashes. So apparently you're not allowed to stay at this beach past nine. They kick people out and that's in like half an hour. <laughs> so we might have to move to a different beach. Oh, I wish this wasn't broken. Flaug. Flaug the hot dog. Damn, <laughs> it's getting really hard to see. The camera can't we'll have pick places. stuff up very well. On the road again. Hey. <laughs> and that's my boyfriend. Okay, yeah, my camera can't see anything. We're on the train tracks. Walking to some secret beach area. It's really scary. This is so sketch. So weird. We had him. What a right? No ball. Oh, this got a glow stick. Quinton, you know how I love puns so much? That's our next jump. Oh, it. Quinton, I have a lot of puns. You ask her, man. No. Alright, so we're back now. It's not too, too late. I think it's just a little bit past 11 and we left kind of earlier than we thought we would because our ride was leaving and so we're like, yeah, let's just go home. So yeah, we were at that first beach and then we left because apparently they lock everything down around 9 p.m. So we went to this other beach and it's actually not, not really an official beach. You have to go park down this weird little hill and there's not much room there. And then you have to go onto the train tracks and walk down the train tracks for a little bit. Just maybe like 20 or 30 seconds of walking. And then you turn down this little hidden path within the bushes. And it's scary because there's like this really steep embankment at one point to try to not fall down it. And then you get to this little secluded beach and it's really cool. And I guess you won't get bothered by police or anyone as long as you're behaving and not being too noisy. Because normally you're not supposed to drink alcohol on beaches and stuff. But it was really nice. It was cool. And there was actually another group of people. They had their own little fire in the spot next to us. So it was cool. And we just kind of listened to music. Grilled more food and stuff like that. So it was good. I didn't end up drinking anything. I just had my water. And I was fine with that. And I got some smoke in my eyes, which really hurt. But that's okay. <laughs> so my eyes are feeling really dry. I smell like campfire. Mmm. Campfire. And then uh, Christian's co-worker's dog. Snowball is so cute. I want to steal her. She's so cute. <laughs> so yeah, it was just a fun little outing. Anyway, I'm going to go to bed now because I'm exhausted. So thanks for watching and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Look at that loser. <laughs> So we're just making our way back home and okay we got our groceries bagged it all up and then I went to put the cart back and Sophia one of my viewers she came and said hi to me and if you're watching this I'm apologize that I was like really awkward 